Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss how to implement a linear regression model in Python using a scalar library with a simple example. In the previous videos, I have discussed what is the linear regression model and I have solved many examples on linear regression model. Link for those videos is given in the description below. If you want to implement linear regression in a scalar, we need to import a few libraries here. The first library is uh, matplotlib.pyplot as a PLT. Uh, I want to display that particular linear regression model in the form of a graph here. That's the reason I need to import this particular matplotlib. The second one is the pandas we need to import as a PD. The reason behind this one is I want to read the data from a CSV file as well as I want to perform some data pre-processing like identifying the missing values and filling those particular missing values and all those things. For that reason, I need this particular pandas here. The next one is a model uh, from this particular model selection, I'm going to import something called as a train test split uh, so that we can divide that particular given data into training and testing part over here. The last very important uh, library is uh, from scalar.linear model, we need to import linear regression. That is the model what I am going to uh, implement in this particular uh, example here. Now, once you import all these particular libraries, the next thing is to load the given data set that can be done with the help of uh, this particular line. DF is the data frame, which is equivalent to pd dot read underscore csv this is uh, the function coming from pandas i'm going to pass the location of that particular file here the file name is linear dot csv and it is present under data folder so i will pass this particular path the data will be read into this particular data frame next i have displayed first five examples with the help of a head function here that is df dot head will display the first five examples from the given data set here now, if you look at this particular data set, uh, it has two features. One is known as X, another one is known as Y here. X is an independent variable and Y is a dependent variable here. And one more thing you can notice here, this particular data contains some examples uh, in AN. The meaning of this one is uh, there are some missing values are there in this particular given data set. So what we need to do is we need to identify the missing values and then we need to either uh, remove that particular data or we need to impute some uh, values in this particular missing uh, values place. So before we do that particular thing, like uh, removing the missing values or imputing some values, first we will try to see the shape of that particular data with the help of shape function. df dot shape will return you 102 comma 2. The meaning of this one is there are 102 examples are there and two features are there or you can say that the input variables. Next, we want to know whether there are some missing values are there that can be done with the help of this particular function that is known as is null. It will return you either true or false the, if there are missing values are there. Uh, right now, I want to count how many number of missing values are there. That's the reason I'm using dot sum function here. And if you look at the result, uh, x returning 0 and y returning 8 here, the meaning of this one is the feature x does not have any missing values, but y has 8 missing values in this case. Now, the question is uh, how to handle this particular missing values. There are some different things you can do, like uh, you can remove that particular example completely. For example, uh, you can remove this particular complete example. That's one possibility over here. Or else what you can do here is uh, at this particular missing value place, you can impute some values like you can add some uh, uh, average or you can say that the mean of this particular column or mean, median or you can say that the mode you can add it over here. That is what is called as a imputing. Uh, right now, what I'm doing here is I'm going to remove that particular example with the help of a drop na function. So df is equal to df dot uh, drop na. The meaning of this one is the entire example will be removed in this particular case. So once uh, the missing values are removed from the given data set, again, we will see whether they were removed or not with the help of isnal function on the top of this particular df here. You can see here x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 0. The meaning of this one is uh, there are no missing values now. So how many missing values were there? Totally eight missing values were there. So after removing 8 from 102, there should be 94 uh, examples remaining. That can be verified with the help of again the shape function here. You can see here there were 94 examples are remaining with two features. That's perfectly fine till now. Now, as said earlier, rather than removing that particular example completely, we can use fill in a function. And then to this particular fill in a function, we can pass some uh, parameters like mean, median or mode so that the mean of that particular column will be calculated and then it will be imputed at the missing values. So that's another possibility what we have. We can use that particular method also. Just for understanding purpose, what I'm doing is I'm removing that particular example completely at this particular point of time. Now, once you uh, read the data and then uh, you have done the pre-processing, next uh, is to arrange that particular data in the form of a feature matrix and then the target uh, factor over here. Uh, the x is an independent variable, so I will put this particular x into this particular x. 
and y is a dependent variable i will put this particular y into y over here now how to do that particular thing df dot loc you can see here this particular part before comma we have colon here the meaning of this one is i want to read all those particular rows here and the second one is after comma we have uh, how many columns i want to read i want to read only one column that is the x column here i want to put the values of that uh, x uh, column into this particular capital x over here now i will see the shape of this particular x it is 94 comma 1 the meaning of this one is uh, there are 94 examples are there and there is one uh, feature in this case that is nothing but x here now the values of this particular y i want to put into this particular y again the same function i want to read all those particular rows the values of this particular y will be placed into this particular y here the same result we are getting 94 rows in this particular case now we have uh, set our uh, data in the form of feature matrix and the target vector the next one is to build our linear regression model here for that reason first we need to import that particular model uh, whichever we want to use right now i want to use linear regression model so i need to import linear regression here i have already done it so that's the reason i'm not doing it again here but i have shown that particular thing in this particular comment here that is nothing but from sklearn dot linear underscore model i need to import linear regression uh, function here now once you do this particular thing next we need to create an instance of this particular model so to create this particular instance we need to pass some hyperparameters a minimum uh, hyperparameter required for linear regression is a fit underscore intercept over here so this particular fit underscore intercept can take two values one is a true another one is a false if you set uh, fit underscore true uh, the meaning of this one is uh, it will consider that particular intercept also uh, if you consider fit underscore intercept is equal to false the linear regression line will be drawn from what you can say that the origin here it will not consider that particular intercept intercept will be always equal to zero in this particular case so this is not suitable for many examples so better to go with what is that called as fit underscore intercept is equal to true over here now uh, once you do this particular thing uh, next thing is to uh, create an instance as said earlier REG is equal to linear regression we have already imported it we need to pass one uh, minimum hyperparameter that is called as fit underscore intercept which is equal to true here along with that if you want to pass a few more hyperparameters uh, you can use this particular function that is known as help linear regression i have written in the form of comment here you can remove it, this one and then you can execute it you will get all those particular hyperparameters you can set with the help of uh, uh, linear regression you can uh, use those particular thing so that you will get a better accuracy over here so once you create this particular instance that is reg we need to uh, pass uh, the given data that is uh, uh, x and y to this particular reg with the help of fit function so reg dot fit of x comma y here x is uh, the independent variable and y is a dependent variable now once you do this part i think the model is uh, trained for our given data that is x comma y over here now the last part of this particular building model is to predict the values for the new data for time being what i will do is i will consider the first 10 values of the same data set and then i will predict the values here now reg dot predict is a function to predict the values for the uh, given data set or the new data set i am considering the first 10 values of x here i will be getting the y values here now if you look at this part i think first one is minus 50.99 if you go back and see this particular data the first value was actually minus 51 and what we have predicted here the predicted value is almost equivalent that is minus 50.99 here similarly we got some different uh, values for the all the remaining uh, nine examples over here so this is how actually you can predict the values for the uh, dependent variable that is the y value here given the value of x in this particular case now once this particular thing is done uh, the next part of uh, our uh, model is to measure the performance of this particular model when it comes to a, a, any other classification model uh, usually we use something called as accuracy precision recall uh, roc AUC, something like that uh, so that we can uh, measure the performance of that particular model when it comes to linear regression model we use something called as the score as the um, performance matrix over here so i will calculate the score of this particular model that is reg dot score x comma y in this particular case i will be getting the score of this particular model i will print it over here i'll be getting the value as 0 0.9798 that is nothing but the model is 97.98 uh, ac percent uh, accurate you can say in this particular case now uh, what we do here is we will try to print that particular equation of the linear line uh, that can be done with the help of uh, reg dot coefficient underscore so that you will be able to get that coefficient uh, first i will write the equation of that linear equation uh, y is equal to mx plus b so where b is the intercept 
and m is the coefficient here so first we need to know what is the coefficient uh, in this case i have been written the uh, list of you can say that the coefficients right now i need only one if it's a multinomial linear regression in that case i need to have multiple number of coefficients over there so right now it is a single uh, coefficient uh, that is written in this particular list here similarly i need to know this particular intercept that can be obtained with the help of uh, reg intercept underscore over here that is equal to minus 50.99 and so on now i will set this particular m is equal to this particular coefficient b is equal to intercept and finally i will print it over here with the help of print function so that is nothing but y is equal to 1.58 that's a coefficient x plus minus 50.99 that is the uh, intercept over here so finally we will try to plot this particular linear regression line in some color over here for that reason we will use the matplotlib library first we will create a subplot with the help of uh, matplotlib uh, library that is plt dot subplot number of rows number of columns i need one row one column what is the size of that particular figure is set over here now we need to set uh, uh, the this particular plot should be displayed so for that reason first i will use ax dot scatter this particular ax dot scatter i want to draw the scatter plot x is on x axis y is on y axis the data will be displayed in the form of black color here now you can see a dot 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 whatever the things are there they will be printed in the form of scatter plot over here now the second thing is x dot plot x comma reg predict of x uh, color is equal to red and line width is equal to 3 the meaning of this one is uh, the x will be same and the predicted values will be uh, this one reg dot predict of this particular x uh, that will be printed in this particular line the color of that particular line is red and the line width is equal to 3 here that is what has been printed over here now i want to print this particular grids that's the reason i'm using x dot grid the, I want to print it, that's the reason it is true. Both X and Y uh, grids are required, that's the reason X is equal to both here. The X label is set to X and Y label is set to Y in this particular case. You can see here, this is the X label and this is the Y label. Uh, and finally, we have set the label for this particular uh, plot, that is linear regression line, that is what you can see here. Finally, the entire plot has been printed over here, that is what actually you can see in this particular graph here. I hope uh, you understood what is uh, linear regression and how can we implement linear regression in Python using a scalar library. If you like this particular video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.